points. Memphis State LSU, now, this game was tight all the way through, and Memphis State really had things pretty much their own way early, but LSU was the team that was really on a roll. There's Dale Brown. John Williams and company, they get the steal inside, but watch what happens. Andre Turner comes out of it. Alley oop to William Bedford for the slam, and Memphis was up by two. Great play, time running out. First half, tight ball game. Watch what happens. Baskerville Holmes from 30 feet. It goes, and it counts. And Memphis has a one-point lead in the second half. But early in the second half, William Bedford, the big man in the middle, 50, draws that foul, his fourth, and that really put Dana Kirk's team in trouble. Then LSU went to work. Watch the great save here by Anthony Wilson, who feeds it to John Williams, who gets it inside and ties the game up with time running down. But with seconds remaining, and Bedford back in the lineup with his four fouls, the soft touch by the big guy on the turnaround off the glass, and Memphis has now tied it again. Time is running out. Memphis is uh, digging around the floor, and watch what happens. With one second to go, Anthony Wilson throws up a prayer that pounces through the hoop. An amazing finish. Dana Kirk just simply slaps the hand of Dale Brown. Well, the folks down in Baton Rouge certainly had reason to celebrate an incredible ending and an incredible win over Memphis State. 83-81 LSU stuns Memphis State. My oh my, Memphis State a loser in the final seconds time and time again this year. And it really cost them this time. LSU's had the home court advantage, as we mentioned, down in Baton Rouge, but next up they're going to have to go to somebody else's home den because the defending national champions are out.